Okay, we're going to start with the muzzle. And the ferrets don't have a rounded muzzle. The ferrets have a sharp, pointed muzzle. Okay, and it extends just beyond the outside corner of the eye. Starts right there at the nose. This one's a quick one to fill in. Okay, outside corner of the eye. Tie it into the lips. Okay. So, hit the bottom of the nose. Now I'm shooting. Okay. For the ferrets, we don't have exactly the right color. So take this brown and the red. Load primarily with the brown. Get a couple swipes through the red. Go back to the brown. We'll swipe through the red. Couple swipes through the brown until you've got your brush nicely loaded for each ferret. You don't want to have to try to get paint again because it won't be the same twice. All right, so then come down the nose. Make sure you don't have paint on your hand. Come down the nose. Okay. Go out sideways, hold your brush straight. Parallel to the muzzle, and you do a modified mustache sort of a thing there going on. Okay, make sure you get some lines, all right? Okay, and come mostly out to the edge of the muzzle, same thing on the other side. And make sure you cover the edges of the nose, and the bottoms right here, the bottom of the middle will be covered by the nose. And then you'll see you've got kind of a hard angle here. Take your brush, hit the angle just a little bit to soften it up on both sides. Okay, then we're going to take and we're going to do the eyebrows, which is a kind of a push, pull, push down, pull up, push down, pull up, push down, pull up, push down, pull, up, push down, pull out. Okay, and then the same thing. Once you've got the base laid down, go through carefully and bring some up higher. And you can see how we did that with one load. Okay. <laughs> Fill it in the middle so they're hairy all the way across. Okay, then grab your dark brown out of the tag skin palette again. Okay, make sure it's nice and wet. All right, because the first thing you're going to do is paint a mask, okay, for the mask, okay, it meets in the middle, okay, and it comes across under the eyebrows and comes to a point, it looks sort of like a bandit's mask, so while that one's drying, grab the middle, Come across under her eyebrow by painting the edge of the mask across the eyebrow. It lets those eyes be super expressive. Make sure you got it loaded up nice and well. Come across, bring your point out to the same point as before. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Bring it across right up to the lashes. Okay, fill in the corners of the eye. All right, we're gonna make sure that's nice and even there. Okay, now I'm gonna do right under your eyelashes, okay? Mm -hmm. So you roll your eyes at the ceiling and hold still, okay? okay. okay keep your eyes open. All right, you can see we had a little bit of wet paint there and it ran. If this was for theater, we'd have to wash your face and start all over, but for this demo, we're just going to ignore it. And then once you've got it up to the eyelashes, bring the mask down in a nice even line. So you get a nice mask on there. And then get their nose. And the ferret's noses are sharp little points. And what I do I use the flat brush to pull down a square like that and then go to the point of the nose and connect with the rectangle 
Go to the point of the nose and connect with the rectangle. Honey, hold your head still. Okay. And you fill it in. Okay. Then take a real quick down to the lip with the flat part of the brush. All right. And then before you are done with your flat brush, you need to get some wispies in there. Same thing up across the top. Okay. Make sure you get the metal bits as well. Okay, and it's okay if it feels a little heavy-handed. They're going to be on stage. All right. And before you're done with your dark brown paint, grab a tiny little dotter, tiny little liner. We're going to do some dots. Load it up. Press it down. Do your best to make them kind of big so that they show in the back of the theater. Make sure you do them symmetrically so they look about the same on each side. They also get black lipstick because of being little goth ferrets. Open your mouth a little bit like this. Look at me. Just like that. There you go. Not super wide, not closed. Make sure you get a good line. Because it's dark, it will go a long, long ways. You just have to make sure you've got a good, strong line. And remember, these little girls aren't used to putting on lipstick, so you're going to have to give them hints about how to relax their lips and that sort of thing. Okay, now look at me and listen to me all the way before you do anything. Okay, I'm going to have you rub your lips together, but not a ton, okay? Just a little. Just like that, okay? Not all over the place. Very nice, okay. Alright, there we go. We have a nice fairy.